urinating onto my house. That's just one of the problems a community group says is caused by mini dorms continuing to pop up in the college area. Late, late parties and trash in the streets, noise at all hours. Team 10 investigator Melissa Masia joins us on this story. And Mel, the homeowners say that the university, San Diego State's not doing enough to cur curb this problem. Yeah, I spoke extensively with one homeowner who told me he just wishes the university would work more with the community. Nearly a quarter of all mini dorm complaints were in the college area. See, there's another rental house at the mini dorm. Patrick Maroney has lived here for the past six years. He owns his home. He says battling the mini dorm problem. It's pretty tough sometimes. Mini dorms are off campus housing rented to at least six people, in many cases, students. All of the homes listed, for example, in Craigslist uh, are renting for about $6,000. Oftentimes, a deal for multiple students splitting a home. I'd estimate about 50% of the homes on my street are mini dorms. They're legal if the homeowner gets the proper permit. Maroney says part of the problem are students not respecting the neighborhood. There are students who are coming in and out of private home yards and, and uh, dropping keg cups and urinating. Sometimes it can lead to bigger problems. 10 News was there during this fire on Tipton Street in December. The home converted to a mini dorm. The renters weren't students, but Team 10 uncovered the homeowner faced years of violations, from zoning codes to unpermitted additions in the home. Are there enough resources for the city to deal with this issue? Unfortunately, there, there aren't. Team 10 found in fiscal year 2014, there were 98 complaints citywide about mini dorms. The following year, 121. This fiscal year so far, from July to March, 81 complaints. And they're coming into the community as first-time renters, and they have no education about what it means to live in the community. No guidance, Patrick says, from San Diego State. They've done nothing to proactively deal with students rotating into the community. A SDSU spokesperson told Team 10 the school doesn't get involved with how homeowners choose to rent out their property. They also have constructed more on-campus housing to help keep students closer to campus. The city of San Diego has one zoning investigator to deal with many dorm enforcements and complaints. San Diego police also has what Patrick calls a C-squad or college squad for extra patrols in the area. Did you talk to any of the students there for their reaction? There were a few and I talked to a couple who they didn't want to go on camera. However, one student did tell me, you know, she doesn't think that they are a problem and she admits to throwing parties only sometimes. So an ongoing <laughs> issue. Uh -huh. Only sometimes. Well,